Hi everybody, thanks for uh, joining us this evening. Uh, tonight I'm here at uh, Workington Theatre Royal. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic night, we're going to have a, a fantastic audience. Uh, this is one of my first of many vlogs where I'm going to be um, doing a little bit of an interview uh, beforehand and uh, also I'm going to do show some of the clips from the evening as well. So, um, yep, yeah, stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy the show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the stage, Gareth Lewis. Good evening. Good evening. Are we all okay? Yes. Good. It's lovely to see you all here tonight. And uh, to be able to work with Gareth Lewis Spirit World is such an honour and such a privilege to be able to work with such wonderful people like yourselves. <laughs> You're so serious, love. Yeah, right. Are you scared? I am. <laughs> Just because you're sat there, because you're bigger than me. So I'm not going to try and upset you. Um, yeah, so um, when a media works, we work um, not only with the spirit world, but we work uh, on the psychic level as well. It allows me to interfere in your world. And it's all your secrets. You chose to sit on the front row, love. <laughs> We've all got skeletons, haven't we? Yeah, that's when you've got a, a graveyard, that's when you start to worry. <laughs> so, um, like I say, I'm here to be able to work and represent your friends and your loved ones in the spirit world this evening. And um, what I actually want to do is smile. <laughs> to start, I think. And uh, also to talk to me. So, um, without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on. If I do happen to come to you, please talk to me. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to have a good night together, yes? Yeah! Oh! Have you had love? You can sweat. <laughs> don't guarantee you a message, love. But well, thank you for your encouragement. <laughs> Right, so we'll see what happens and see where we go. As I work here, I know that I've got a lady in the spirit world. I know that I've got mum in spirit. And I know before she passed the spirit world, she talks about cancer. I kind of feel here, she makes me understand cancer. She kind of gives me thought here of starting off in this area. But I do feel as if I kind of rapidly um, uh, got a lot quicker, a lot intense with this, uh, this cancer. But she does make me feel around this area. And she gives me this thought here before she passed the spirit world. She talks about not necessarily wanting to give up, but I kind of feel enough's enough because she talks about it being more months rather than years of a rapid progression of this dreadful illness. I kind of felt it around this area towards the back, but like I say, well, anybody will do it moment. <laughs> can anybody understand more? You come out? Yes? Are you sure? Do you know, when we do this, um, steady. <laughs> when we do this, um, Day safe, I remember day safe. You have people who sit there like that. <laughs> and when we work in the Manchester area, they sit there going, Don't tell him anything, let him tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not from day safe, hey love. Very good talk to them. So if I may come to you now, if you understand that that kind of condition with her, yeah. okay, I feel as if I'm to say months rather than years to do this. That makes sense. She makes me aware here. She said, it's as if people thought I'd given up. I ain't given up, Gareth, she says. I ain't given up, she says, but I just knew. Does that make sense? Yeah. She makes me aware here before she passed. She talks about the two people who was with her, okay, but she talks about them always being there. And I know other people came, you understand? Yeah. But she makes me feel as if they won't go. <laughs> Do you understand that? So I know I've got two people who are with me constantly. Does that make sense? She said, I was so happy. She said, she said I don't know if it was you, my love, but she said, someone got on the bed with her. Does that make sense? I know we're going to say I lay down with her, but I know that I lay and she took her final breath. Do you understand? Because she makes me feel as if someone cradled her. Do you understand that? And she gives me this thought. She said, I'm so lucky to have such a beautiful uh, family around me. She said, but it wasn't always like that, Gareth. <laughs> Do you understand? She makes me aware that the last 18 months before she passed the spirit world, she talks about some kind of, should we say division in the family? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And that annoyed her, didn't it? <laughs> she said, I wish I was, I wish I could have got them back together, I've got them talking again. Do you yeah. understand? She said, I tried, she said, I couldn't. Does that make sense yeah. to you? She makes me feel here uh, that she, 
So give me a start here, going around about, shall we say, between three and a half past. So I don't know if she's passed around that time, or there was some concern around that time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not just saying it, thinking, oh, no. <laughs> Because she makes me feel here, my last conscious thoughts were around about that time, you understand? Yeah. She makes me aware here, she says, I wasn't the most the prettiest of women, she says, but I looked after myself. Do you understand? And she gives me this feeling here, she always had to look a certain way. But well, not like you, definitely not like your friend here, who goes to the shops and wants her. You don't deal of. She does. We <laughs> don't judge, it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's put her head down there. Are you two together? No. You're not. <laughs> That's right. Not anymore, anyway. Uh, but she just makes me aware here of um, uh, uh, she kind of like looked after herself. Okay, I know here she gives me the name of Margaret as well, so I know I've got that connection with her also. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Say if you don't understand that name. Yeah, she had a friend. Th that's fine, that's okay. She just makes me aware of just mentioning that name as I just kind of come back to her. She makes me feel here there was something where she either went to the doctors or she went to the hospital and she came away none the wiser. So we just that where there was that kind of not necessarily mixed diagnosis, but that kind of like, well, they could have sorted it then. Yeah. Does that make sense? Are you sure? Because she kind of makes me feel that she thought it wasn't as bad because she was told it wasn't as bad. Does that make sense? She makes me aware that she's been around during the last few days and she says, there's been such a lot of um, tears around you. And, and I'm not just saying through the grief of this lady, I kind of feel in your private life as well. Do you understand? She makes me aware that she was with you. And I want to say yesterday afternoon, going into yesterday tea time, and she makes me feel as if I'd had enough. So understand why you were tearful around that time. Are you sure? Okay, because she makes me aware that she was with you yesterday tea time, should we say. She gives me this thought here that even this morning, that she was so looking forward to coming and seeing me. <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> um, but she makes me aware here of, of, of so looking forward to coming here tonight. I kind of feel that it was a little bit of an effort as well. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, it was. <laughs> 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 Lovely crowd you are. <laughs> but you understand where it was kind of like a little bit kind of like, oh, I want to go, I've got to go, yeah. but I'm not sure whether I am going to or not. Yeah, I wasn't going to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you glad you did? I am. Same here. <laughs> because you're, uh, this lady in your mum said, she said, she said, it's as if like, she kind of like ends and out of her mind, am I am or not, am I am or not. Okay, so I know that you was like that. She makes me aware here that she was with you. If we go back to a February this, uh, this year, she makes me aware here that again, that was one heck of a month to get through. And uh, she makes me aware there's a bad, an anniversary of her birthday coming up soon, so I know she wants to say happy birthday for an anniversary of rain now. Do you understand that? She talks around either the 20th or the 22nd of April, so I feel as if I want to go around that time for an anniversary also. Can you place that? Same if you can. Oh, that's okay, I'd rather you say no. Okay, because she just makes me feel here as if there was some anniversary of a passing or something like that to rain that time. I talked about the birthday, but I know there's an anniversary of passing around that time. We just put it into your mind and see whether you can place it, okay? She makes me feel here that before she passed the spirit world, I know that she would have tried to have got as much as she could sorted, okay? But she makes me aware here that it was still a bit of a mess. It was. <laughs> All right? And that, she makes me aware here of, not necessarily, you can't say that. She makes me feel as if it, that wasn't my fault, Gareth, that was their fault. <laughs> Right. Because she makes me feel here, okay, there were items and were things which she tried to get sorted, she couldn't, but she makes me aware here that there are also things what you find difficult to sort out as well. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not being angry when I say a mess, but <laughs> you know, it was after work. <laughs> she takes me here to, um, she takes me to the October time, so I know the anniversary is October, okay, where's some importance, you understand? <laughs> She makes me feel that she wants to say either get back into the study or get back into the learning of some sort because I kind of feel as if you can do a lot more than what you're doing now. Uh, so I'm not saying get back to college or uni or anything like that, but I kind of feel that whatever you're doing now, 
it's as if you're just plodding your way through it and there's more for you to do. Okay, but I know here there's uh, a lot more learning to be done around you. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Okay, so as I leave you with that, uh, I know um, you don't understand the name of Julie, do you? Uh, yes. So you know if you don't? Yeah. Still here? Yeah. Uh, is it connected close to you? It's not some random person you know of? No, no, in the family. That's okay. Because uh, I wanted someone connected <coughs> closer to some random person you know of. <laughs> okay, because she just makes me feel here to mention the name of Julie and just see whether there's upsets around that part of the family or around. Does she cause more trouble than what she's actually? Um, bothering with half a time. Sometimes. Because I kind of feel as if she's like, oh, I want to say it's attention. No. But I kind of feel as if she kind of like, things are a lot worse than what she actually thinks sometimes, you know? Mm. And, and she just makes me aware, just watch her in that part of the family to see where she goes. Uh, I'm going to leave you with that, say thank you for your contact, and uh, I'll leave you. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you believe that someone who wasn't going to bother coming here is the person <laughs> All right, so for me, Mom, I, I know here that I'm aware of a gentleman in the spirit world, and he makes me feel that, unfortunately, I can't help but feel that he took his own life, this gentleman. He makes me aware here of passing through, taking his own life. I know that he's not been passed in many years, uh, so I know it's more of a recent um, passing with him. But he takes me down the journey of um, struggling with either connections around drugs or through drugs. Uh, so I know there's a connection with drugs around him as well. So can anybody understand a gentleman who would have passed like that? You understand that? Yeah. Is that happening? I'm joking. <laughs> you understand that, yeah? Yes. Okay, is there anybody else? No? Say if there's anybody else, that's fine. If not, we'll see, see what we got. Um, but he just makes me aware that he battled with it. So I know at times he got past it and you know it was clean or whatever, but I kind of feel like I keep all him back. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. He makes me aware here of someone who I've got to say he had a bit of attitude about him. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because he kind of makes me aware here that uh, forget the drugs, forget the. I just feel that was just his personality. Yeah. He just had this attitude where he's like, oh, we just pack it in. Does that make <laughs> sense? He makes me aware of measuring the mystique of Stephen as well, so I know there should be connection around that name also. His brother, yeah. That's fine. Because he just wants to give that name as well. Now, where the Steve or the Stephen was, would I be correct in saying, Again, I mentioned this young lady before, but I don't feel that Stephen give up on him, but I kind of feel as if he just had to just leave him and let him get on with it. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I feel that he tried and tried, and at the end of it all, it was just like, I'm sorry, I can't do any more. Yeah. Does that make sense? Most of his family did. Yeah. So would you understand where that Stephen has got that element of guilt, where he thought he could have done more? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Because he just makes me aware, you know, they tried, but they just couldn't yeah. do any more. Okay. I feel here that in the last two or three weeks before this passing, would you understand where he either disappeared and then he came back? Because I feel as if I wish I had to come back. Does that make sense? Are you okay for me to carry on more? Yeah? And uh, do you know what? He's so horrible, this lad here, who has a microphone. I tell him, tell him so many times to pick up tissues. And he doesn't. Uh, but he just makes me aware here, the last couple of weeks, as if I had to get away. And you know what? For whatever reason, I just came back. You understand? He makes me aware here. He says, you know, we tell us sorry. We tell us sorry. I'm sorry that the person who found me, I didn't expect that for one minute. That was me. Ah, bless you. Okay. Because he just makes me say, Can you just tell him I'm sorry? I didn't expect that for one second. Do you understand? Ah, this lovely lady here, come prepared. And you know what, just to, uh, just to say that he has been around you, he said, will you tell her that I love her? Okay. And he says, I don't care what you do in this world, he says, but even though I was a, I can't say that word, not a great person at times, being with A and an E, uh, <laughs> even though I was a bit like that, he said, I would have helped anybody out. Yeah, he, he said, I would have helped anybody out. Forget me attitude, forget this, you want a fiver, if I've got it, you can have it. Give me ten pay back, but you know, <laughs> but I know that he was a little bit like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. He says, you know, I would have helped anybody out. He talks about the two weeks before I passed, we said that he disappeared. Yeah. Okay, you understand that? But he said just before that, I had an argument with someone. Do you understand? <laughs> and he says it's that guilt 
And it's that argument that still gets played over and over in someone's head. Okay. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay. Because I kind of feel that it was over nothing, yeah. it was over trying to help, yeah. but I know that someone still has that thought. Does that make sense to you? He makes me aware here that every car, he says, every car I turn, Gary, he said they were there. So we're doing somewhere trying to get away from someone. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. he makes me feel here as if there's three people. He said after me. Yeah. Okay, or at least one to have a good talk to me. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he talks about three people. He says every time I turned away, when I went away, he said there was someone there as well. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I tried getting away, and they were still there. Yeah. Do you understand that? Okay, so I know here uh, he comes around and um, just very quickly, he throws in the name of Andy or Andrew. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I know that he just wants to mention that. You know, for all his faults, and we said he was a nice person, this, that, and the other, but for all his faults, he said, he said oh, it's just like you, Gareth. Good luck in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 But he just makes me a word here, he says, I like to look after myself. Yeah, and uh, he gives me this feeling that he says, I could I could chat any girl up, I could chat any lad up. You know? <laughs> I had that banter. Yeah. You understand? He makes me feel that he's been around you recently. Who is it who's been either in and out of hospital or in and out of the doctor's appointments? Um, there's a few people that he knew. That's fine, let's see where we go with that. Yeah. Because he makes me aware here as if someone recently, in these last few days or so, has just come out, out of a hospital appointment or a doctor's appointment. Yeah. And I kind of feel as if they're a little bit concerned yeah. of what the mm. next stage or next step is. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I say, I'm not here to say it's going to be bad or anything like that. I know that I pick up on someone's concern at the moment. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. He gives me this feeling here of uh, when he passed this boot weld. Um, did he did he go somewhere and then he was found here? What do you mean? He was kind of like, is this some of the I didn't even know you were gonna be here. Oh, I didn't even know you would be there. I thought I think I, I felt like he was expecting somewhere else or he should have been at somewhere else's place. I don't know if this is relevant, but I, when I found him, I was expecting him to be hanging off a light chairs and I found him on the sofa. So I looked up and was relieved when I didn't see him. That's okay. And then I found him. No, okay, that's your eyes. No, um, is that I don't mean to be rude, but no. Would you, would you have thought that he was either at someone else's house no. or he was somewhere else at no. some point? I, I kind of feel as if I told someone I was going somewhere. No. You don't understand that. No. So in that case, I'd rather you be honest and say that, you know? Yeah. But it just makes me feel here as if someone was expecting me. Okay. Um, yeah, so, actually his boss asked him to go back to a certain place to get through what he was going through when he refused. So that might be like... Right, that's probably... I kind of feel as if someone expected me to be there okay. and I wasn't. Okay. Right. So maybe we can uh, put it to that point. Uh, I know here that he just makes me aware of, as he walks down this street or this, down this road, he talks about, um, he would have lived, I feel I want to turn left, where there's a pub on the corner, you understand? I kind of feel as if I want to turn left there, and the road goes very right like this, okay, and I feel there's either two flats, yeah. and then there's houses. Do you understand? So I don't know how big these flats are, but there's two story up to, uh, because I've got two flats, two blocks of flats, or two flats, and then I've got houses around. Okay. Do you understand? But I know here that where I am with these flats, I know that they're more set back from the street or from the road, where I've got either a grass verge in front or I've got, uh, not a grass verge, like a bigger path. Mm. But I kind of just set back a little at the bit. the back, there's a grass. There's grass at the back, is yeah. there? Would he go in through the back? <laughs> No, I went That's fine. It just makes me feel here there's this kind of grass, but I kind of felt as if it's more set back from the road than if I will. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> are you used with this gentleman next to you? Yeah. Are you just friends? Oh, we're partners. You're punching a bit there, aren't you, love? <laughs> <laughs> He just wants to just refer to you, and as I can say, uh, I don't know why he brings this in, but he just makes me aware. Can he just say thank you to you? Okay, especially for this last two or three weeks. Okay, because I don't know what that is, but he just makes me aware here that the last two or three weeks, and especially this young lady has needed someone. 
Does that make sense? Yeah? You're from down south, Bob. <laughs> New Zealand. Well, that, that's even better. You can't go any further south than that, can you? <laughs> uh, but you talk, you speak, don't you? <coughs> that's fine. So, to understand these last couple of weeks of where he's been there for you, uh, that kind of yeah. job, you understand yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so, he just makes me aware here just to say thank you for being there. He makes me also aware that someone had the tattoo done in his memory. Oh my God. And he makes me, oh, don't show me off. Yeah. That's nice, oh. isn't it? It didn't always look like that, though, did it? Oh well, yeah, I covered his name. Because <laughs> he makes me feel as if there's been a correction there, <laughs> and there's been some added to it. Yeah. He covered his name. Now taken out of. It was more important. <laughs> That's fine. But I know here that the tattoo has been either in addition yeah, yeah. to it or more. That's when I said we yeah. we said that. I said it didn't always look like that. <laughs> That's fine, because he just makes me aware of uh, the tattoo, uh, not necessarily there, but I know there's something more to it. I am going to leave you uh, with his love, and, uh, but before I do, he just gives me a thought here of saying, uh, he takes me to the May month, okay, so I know it's an important anniversary in May, you understand? So I'm speak. Uh, he makes me aware about the May month, but he also makes me aware here that he says, should you have gone away and you postponed it or cancelled it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's being rebooked. It's being re still, on that, still on that process yeah. of we've not cancelled it, it's just not just yet. Does yeah. that make sense? Because he makes me feel here we've got some kind of trip away uh, which has been postponed and I know we need to go back to it. Okay. Um, did you bring something of his today with you? No, I didn't, just did his tattoo. Just that tattoo, yeah. you can't make that all, can you? <laughs> because he just makes me aware here of uh, either looking at something of his yeah. and thinking, should I have some time? I, I was literally holding something of his tonight before I came out with all that stuff. That's fine, that's okay. Because he makes me aware as if should I bring something with him, with you, of his. And then should I have some time? You understand that then, okay? Because he just says we just tell I've been with her. Do you know what? I do feel very quickly here that you're very much aware of the spirit world, okay? And whether that's um, through the just the feeling or whatever it may be, but he just makes me aware there's many a time where you've sat with me or you've just known I was there. Do you know, because I always say, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that sometimes it's our minds what we think. Is it or isn't it? I wish it was, I wish it wasn't. There's that feeling where I just know. Okay. And he just makes me aware here that he has been with you. He was with you on Sunday afternoon where I kind of feel we had a good time, which ended in a bad time, or a good time, you know, in the end as, as well as what we thought. Okay. Because he just makes me feel that Sunday was one of those days where it went okay and then also it just kind of went downhill. Mm -hmm. right? But he makes me aware here of uh, the funerals like that as well. Yeah. The funeral went like that, and then it went like that, and then it came back up again. Because he makes me feel here, of, um, are the people trying to cause trouble at the funeral? Does that make sense? Yeah. Because he kind of makes me aware here of people who either shouldn't have been there. That would be Andrew. Ah, okay, <laughs> but we understand where they would have caused some trouble, or tried to. Mm -hmm. Okay, because he just makes me aware here that it, didn't, it wasn't going to go like it should have done and there was a problem there somewhere where someone uh, tried to cause problems. So um, I'm going to leave you with that as I do. Please take his love and uh, please take his apology and also um, please take the memory of the get-together or the party of someone's birthday just before he passed. Yeah. There was someone's party we all went to. I did that. I saw everybody but I just knew in his own head, enough's enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so can I leave you with that? I said thank you for your contact. Okay, now, thank you. Um, when we do this job, um, we get so much criticism for it, and we get so much, you know, and I don't mind, well, I do. Um, some of it hurts, and it's so horrible. And all I'll try and do is just say, oh, look, your loved ones will never die. Death only ever exists when we forget about our friends and our family. 
And if we keep them alive in our minds, our hearts and our thoughts, they'll forever be around us, help us and guide us. Um, after tonight, if anybody wants to have a quick chat or whatever, then I'll be around uh, to have a chat with. But can I say just for the moment, thank you from your friends in Spirit World and mine. Good night and God bless. Thank you.